all right so we're back and today we're looking at the best two thousand dollars 4k gaming pc so this is exactly at two thousand dollars at the time of making this video in my opinion this is the highest end pc that you can get if you decided to build it yourself it will cost that much if you decided to get a pre-built pc it will cost twenty five hundred dollars and it wouldn't even perform the same so hey press on that like button subscribe and without wasting any more time let's get to the benchmarks and check out the links too in the description because they are the pc parts so first up we got the last of us part one and that 4k ultra settings i don't know if there's ray tracing or not but we are definitely gonna get 60 fps even though this is the worst port of 2023 right now next up we got star wars jedi survivor and that 4k high settings too i don't know if there's ray tracing or not too and we are hitting 60 fps and this is the second worst port of 2023 yeah it's been a rough year actually for the latest games now we got hogwarts legacy and that 4k high settings with ray tracing and dlss you will hit 60 fps too and the final game which is call of duty warzone because this is my favorite game right now and you'll hit definitely around 240 to 280 fps if once you optimize your ram frequency and your cpu so the cpu we're looking at the amd ryzen 7800 x3d coupled with the thermal right assassin x uh, i think called something like that cpu cooler now if you want the beefier cooler you could go with the peerless assassin but hey this cpu doesn't consume a lot of heat it doesn't require a beefy cooler to actually run it at decent temps if you're not doing overclocking of course and with some undervolting this cpu will be well under 80 degrees so yeah this is when it comes to you know handling the cpu temps when it comes to the cpu itself this is the fastest cpu for gaming right now Recash really trumps everything out of the water it's actually better than anything that you can find on the market right now the 13900k cannot stand a chance and there's a significant difference between an x3d model cpu and a non x3d model cpu of the current gen in a lot of games where you will have a lot more frame rates next up we have the board and we're looking at a budget board because yeah even though that's a high-end pc we had to go budget at some ports and i decided to ship out on the board which is the b650m hdv i believe or b650 m k this one goes for 125 dollars from gigabyte it's got the bias update utility by itself the q flash it's got four ram slots it supports the higher end cpus that require higher power limits so yeah you can go all the way up to 160 watts something like that and it gets the job done it will handle the 7800 x3d again the 7800 x3d is only 120 watt cpu so yeah you don't get afraid from the power limits this is the most important thing and you can do overclocking too and when it comes to the ram uh, support you can go as high as something like 7000 megahertz or so as for the ram we're looking at 32 gigabytes of ddr5 6000 megahertz ram from silicon power this is a black and white themed gaming pc this one goes for 88 dollars it's got really good latency it's got really good colors you know it's in white it's pretty cheap and i wouldn't go over that and for the ssd we're looking at the kingston nv2 one terabyte ssd because it gets the job done it's more than enough and you wouldn't want to go with anything other than that for a budget pc or for a budget ssd option on a high-end pc and it gets the job done and the gpu you know what it is this is the gigabyte rtx 4060 or the msi rtx 4060 anything that would match the theme of our pc which is black and white and rgb here and there it will get the job done out of the bat this is the highest end gpu that you can get right now that makes sense with ray tracing in vic encoder this is a really capable pc of gaming streaming 3d rendering you name it this would get the job done and the rtx 4080 is a really capable 4k machine you can even play games at 8k if you'd want and it really gets the job done there isn't much to be said here i wouldn't go with anything higher than that the case we're looking at the lean lean lang cool 2 and 6 this will house our gpu just fine the dimensions there is no you know dimensional issues and it's got really good you know rgb fans on the front and one non-rgb fan in the back it's got decent airflow it's got decent cable management and you wouldn't want to go wrong while the power supply we're looking at something that you wouldn't expect but we're looking at the evga 800 watt gold rated power supply a non-modular one power supplies right now are not in the best shape but if you want you can go with a 1000 watt power supply from gigabyte if you just you know you feel afraid and yeah that's made it if you like the video press on that like button for this video that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace